Hello everyone, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Tasfaun Alamo. I will try to show you today how to install our render studio. In addition, I will show you how to install our packages from different sources. So, first to install our render studio, we will go to the browser and write for our software so that uh, we will go for search. And then when we search, we'll get the information where uh, the website where our software can be found. So that here we'll go to the uh, click it, and then we'll go to the website where the R software will be found. So this R uh, our, uh, web, the website is uh, the R project for statistical computing. So here we'll go to for the downloader. We click for it and then that will lead us to the CRAN where a different R packages and R software will be available. So we can select one of the CRAN of our interest. So that in my case, for example, Austria. So I, when I click, it will bring uh, take me to this uh, website. So from this website, I will select uh, the R software appropriate for my operating system for example if you are interested for linux you can go for linux and then for mac if for or for windows in my case i am interested for windows so i will click for it so when i will go it will lead me to this page so in this page i will in, i will try to download the r as a first time installer so that uh, it will give me the option so when i click that it will give me give me uh, forward me to the this web page in this web page you will see the latest R version that is 4.120 but if you are interested to uh, install the uh, previous release you can click here and go for that so in our case for example we will go to for the latest R version so that will click it then it will start uh, download and uh, select on the uh, folder your interest to store uh, the R so here for example in my case i will go here i will store here so that you can save and continue so uh, the next one is the next one is to download uh, our studio so in case you can write our studio or and then it will give you it will bring you to the website here so for our studio then next you will go to the uh, download uh, button so you will click for the download so in this download it will lead you here the uh, our uh, software our studio web page that will show you different option for the download so in this case uh, we will choose the uh, R version of your interest. There are two, uh, four versions here available. For example, R Studio for desktop and R Studio for commercial purpose, and also R uh, Studio for a service free. And the other one is for the commercial purpose, so that you can click and uh, download what you are interested. So in our case, uh, in my case, uh, the free service, uh, the free version for R Studio for desktop will be used so i will click for it and it will lead me here so in this case for this desktop to use this r studio our r version minimum should be r 3.0 but since already we are downloaded r 4.10 so this version can come up so in this case if you go down there you will see different installer uh, versions that you can be used for window that can be used pa, ba, uh, mac Ubuntu and other operating system and Linux operating system so you can download one of it but in our case we'll go to for download our studio for the desktop latest version so I will, in, I will put it also uh, 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 download it on the uh, folder that is of my interest so here I will download this uh, our studio uh, a latest version of our studio so then after we did that we'll go to uh, install r and r studio so how can we how we go to install so to install r first we'll go to the uh, folder what is we already uh, save our uh, r latest package uh, r and r studio 
so here we'll go to r for window and then i will go right click and i will install it as administrator and then i will continue ok and then next and then next and next so since already i have installed in my computer it's necessary to go but in your case you will go continue continue until the end so maybe can go yes then it will install uh, finalize for us so we'll select this one then we'll go to for installation accept the default then finally it will install for you if you are interested to create the desktop the, the desktop shortcut you will can put click it or not it's according to your interest and finally we'll go and then the program will be installed in our computer this is to install r uh, in for uh, in our computer so that after that we'll go to install r studio so in this case one uh, the most important thing is to install r as uh, uh, as administrator that will help you that will give you an opportunity to to uh, install package without any problem in your hard disk so that it is better to install r uh, in as administrator okay then after it it is already finished so then we finish then already r is installed then the second one is will be to install r studio so the same thing can run as administrator and continue to install r so this is like that same thing will go go and then it will install for us so now we have installed R and R Studio. Then uh, next we'll go to how to install uh, R packages from different sources. That is from CRAN and uh, from uh, different repositories and from uh, GitHub and from Bioconductor. So that we'll see how to install. So that's all. So we finished. Then. Uh, we can install R, R packages from R or R Studio, but the simplest and the fastest way to install R uh, is from uh, R Studio. So that will go on our application and go uh, R. Then you select R Studio. Then finally you will right click and it should open it as administrator. That is a good uh, thing to install it as administrator. So that after this already is opened so this is what i have so when you open our studio we have different uh, uh, windows the first window is uh, our script window we call it source source window this one is the console window that will be a send message uh, run message and also you'll see the output here directly this one is a, a history window it will show us uh, all the history uh, what have been done or how to have been our object already created in the past and the third one is we have another window which we have a help window and also that shows the package available in our uh, computer and also different images or plus if we developed so this is the help uh, window this is a console window this is a source window and this is a history window so that now we'll see how to install our uh, our studio the first thing you should check is uh, the library path which one is how is the library path for example maybe in the latest version of R. Uh, probably the R, uh, the library path may not be uh, uh, difficult, but in our case, if you have the the uh, the previous version before 4.10, in some computers the library path will be two. For example, if we run this dot live paths, we'll see. For example, here two paths. The first path is the win library in the documents under documents and all the 4.0 so it means 4.1 4.05 4.0 4.06 uh, everyone but the second library path is the perfect path that is found 
exactly for only 4.05 so we should install all the live all the packages of our interest on this library so we, i will copy it and paste here so then i will run after that when we check the library our library will be uh, uh, one that is c program files r r 4.05 so any installation i will do is will be installed in this library so that it will not create any confusion so when you when we are interested to install packages from cran we do simply two things the first one is install package so we'll write install package and then we'll write the name of the package if it is for a single package we only list one package so we'll run it and the second part will be if we are interested it's for single package package but if we are interested to have a multiple package package we will list all the packages of interest under concatenate then in this case for example i'm interested to uh, install a lemme for a min and cars together so i only use c concatenate under bracket i will list all the uh, packages of my interest under quotation so that all this package should be installed at the same time in this case also we can install our packages in different ways one is we will go to the tool we'll click on install packages and then here we can select which one if it is a, a package from your desktop you will click the second package archives but if you are interested to install from internet you will uh, uh, select a repository cran or bidar so that in this case i will write the package of my interest if for example lme for here is i will click then i will select then i run if it is single but if i am interested to install multiple packages i will give the space or comma then m means this i will select then comma car i will select and then agricola i will select so like that i will select all the package of my interest then i will run as click install and it will install all the package if i am listed in my computer good so the second way is to install package from uh, the different repositories so that for example some package will be developed in somewhere and then they will show you they will put host in their website so that uh, install in, do, in order to install that package from that website you can use uh, the, the following uh, uh, for, uh, condition we use install package function and then we uh, write the package name for in this case for example plant breeding and then i will give the address of the website where i will found the plant breeding package so that with this i will run so that we are will go to that uh, website and then search for plant breeding and then install for us the third part is uh, package from GitHub and some package from GitHub if you are interested to install it. So this can be done by uh, doing that. For example, first install packages and then uh, install packages and then uh, uh, in this case uh, we installed the package dev tools one. So after dev tools we'll installing the dev tools then we'll call library dev tools inside the library dev tool we have the function install github so in this case the most important thing is you should give uh, the developer and the function with we in a, uh, 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 also so here for example hardly is the developer and then the deployer is the function we have interested to install so you can write install github and then the developer and then uh, uh, slash the deployer so that it will install for us deployer but there is also another way you can also use to install uh, uh, package or uh, package from github only by listing uh, the name of the package so in that case first you should go to the package install packages and install the package called github install from cran then we'll call the library uh, github install and finally inside this 
git have installed uh, we will find the package called git have installed package so here i will give the name of the package of my interest so that directly you will go to the github and find that package and install for us uh, the other form we can install packages is from bioconductors especially this file this package is in the bioconductors mostly related to bioinformatics or so so we can first in order to install that first you should install the package called bios manager so this bios manager is uh, we will install it and then after in we install the bios manager we'll call library library bios manager yeah then after that i will uh, go for bios manager then install and then write the package of my interest things for example there are uh, a package from bioconductor like snip snip relate for example a snip relate like that so that you will run uh, the, the package so if it's correct the snip relate will be here so like that you will install the package from uh, different sources from different websites but if you have some packages also in zip or uh, as a, in zip format in your computer you can install package directly by clicking tools install package but here instead of cran and other you will select package like is archive files so that will lead you to select for uh, the package of your interest from the download so for example the best way in, to install uh, our package is to use internet and directly because that will help you to install not only the package but it is dependency that is required for that package to be function correctly so that with that manner you can install the package okay then after now we finished how to install packages uh, now we finished how to install uh, R, R pack R software, R studio and different R packages in your computer. Then this is the end of this uh, presentation. But next I will show you how to uh, clean your data and prepare your data for data analysis. So that see you in the next lecture. Thank you very much.